After a few months, the tides of trends shift from one item to another. And after consuming a unholy amount of TikToks, YouTube videos, and scrolling on Instagram, I think that there are three trends that have quote unquote died in 2023. Now, you can either take this video one of two ways. One, you can get butthurt about me saying something that you like is dead. Or two, you can come up with reasons why these items aren't dead down in the comments. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew What to Do. It's nice to meet you. Let's talk fashion trends. One item of footwear that I personally love to wear all the time are Birkenstock Bostons. In the past, I've raved about their comfort, their aesthetics, and their overall benefit stylistically. In fact, I have a pair on right now. Gotta keep a Burke on me at all times. <laughs> but over the last six months, I've noticed a subtle shift away from casual mules like the Birkenstock Boston. And as a result, it's led me to think that the Birkenstock Boston Boston trend is now over. To me, Birkenstocks and mules at that have had a massive boost in popularity over the last 16 to 24 months. And overall, high-end mules and slip-on shoes are still relatively popular, don't get it twisted. But when it comes to the Birkenstock Boston specifically, I just see less love when it comes to this model than what I saw in 2021 and in 2022. I think this is due in part to how fast trends tend to move in our modern fashion world from big red boots to the Met Gala and countless other collaborations, I foresee a future where it will only continue to get harder and harder for brands and products to hold consumer interest for prolonged periods of time. Another factor with the Birkenstock Boston is that there are a lot of dupes that replicate this model to a T for a cheaper price. For a cheaper price? <laughs> for a cheaper price. If you just take a quick search on Amazon or walk into a D tier retail clothing store, I can almost guarantee that you'll find a pair of duplicated or duped Birkenstock Bostons in one form or another. And once again, to me, dupes signal the apex of a trend, meaning the peak level of where a trend is at. And then in the subsequent months following the dupes coming out or duplicated products becoming more prominent, that is when you start to see the decline of a brand or product in terms of how trendy or popular it is. Don't get it twisted. Birkenstock Bostons are an awesome item of footwear. I still wear mine all the time and I would still recommend them to 99.9% .9 of the population if you can afford them. That 0.1% are, I don't know who they are. I just wouldn't recommend it to them. <laughs> I still, like you guys saw, wear my pair every single day and so do so many others. One more additional piece of evidence that I would point to to say that the Birkenstock Boston trend has subsided a little bit is the fact that there has been no relevant buzz for the Birkenstock Boston in 2023, in my opinion. And if you have some contradictory idea about this, let me know. But it just doesn't seem like there's much out there when it comes to new Birkenstock Boston releases. Some of the coolest Birks ever came out over the last 18 months. They include the Stussy collaborations, the Jill Saunders collabs. I believe there was even a collaboration with Dior at some point for Birkenstock. Those are some pretty heavy hitters for co-signers. It seems that both Birkenstock themselves and tertiary brands that they've collaborated with have either pumped the brakes on the collaborations or there's just a lack of interest heading further and further into 2023. Or it's just a lack of opportunities because Birkenstock isn't that brand anymore. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. I kind of just said the same thing twice, but it's, it's what I wrote down. <laughs> Whatever it is, either conscious decision or just the natural progression of a product over time, to me, the Birkenstock Boston is dead as a trend. It's still, it's still relatively awesome to wear, but it's not trending anymore, okay? Don't come for me that hard. <laughs> Moving right along, it's relatively rare for a textile or a fabric to become a trend in and of itself. But that's exactly what we saw for mohair in the year of 2022 and 2021. Tons of brands from small niche brands to larger luxury houses were using mohair to decorate the garments that they were creating. Now in 2023, instead of mohair is less hair. <laughs> if, if you know, if you, you get the joke, you get the joke. Okay, it wasn't that funny. Okay, fair, 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 fair. <laughs> I think mohair as a textile used to create clothing 
has officially met its maker in 2023. I almost never see outfits with mohair in them anymore. In fact, the last time I saw a reference point of someone talking about mohair, it was the fact that they were criticizing it as a fabric used uh, for their garment. Now, obviously, warmer weather could be a big reason why you see less and less mohair in the market, as mohair is typically showcased on garments such as cardigans and sweaters. And I can't exactly pinpoint how mohair grew in popularity if there was like a singular moment or a singular piece, but I think it is dead and has died. One additional quirk that I never loved about mohair myself was the fact that when you wear it, a lot of times, you're wearing faux mohair so like you're wearing like a polyester version of it not the actual mohair wool version of whatever it might be but what you have with the faux mohair is that it like tickles your skin if you if you wear like very like loosely threaded or I don't know the actual term but like it kind of tickles your skin when you wear it sometimes and as a result like it can be itchy and just a little bit a bit uncomfortable so I think that maybe plays a role into why people are wearing less mohair, at least for my for my experience. That's why when I put it on, I was like, yo, how can I wear this all day and not just be like. <laughs> One final comment that I have about mohair, to me at least, it seemed like a more of a short term trend cycle type of fabric being used. Now, mohair is something that's existed for hundreds of years. And but but the way it was used contemporarily in the last three or four years I just never saw it as something that was going to be um, timeless, right? It, it just seemed like with the colors and the faux mohair uh, and the way it was being styled and, and just the kind of poppiness of it, it wasn't going to be used that often. Now, there are obviously timeless mohair pieces and mohair items. So once again, don't get it twisted. Like it's still a very, very viable fabric and it's being used by a ton of different companies to make beautiful clothes. But I think, like I said, from the standpoint of contemporaryism, if that's a word, like the modern use case of mohair, you see less and less of it in 2023. And I think it's because it's gone like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you own any mohair items? I know the knitting community is still pretty big on mohair and it's great for knitting and making sweaters and things like that. But I think like the fashion machine, the fashion industry is using less and less of it because people are waking up to how it was made. Um, and it's just less popular. Last but not least, one of the newest sneakers that really impressed me over the last three years was the New Balance 550. What's happened to the New Balance 550 in 2023 has led me to make this damning statement. The New Balance 550 as a prominent sneaker trend is no more really dramatic. <laughs> I personally will always have a soft spot for sneakers as it was my entry point to getting into fashion more and more. And over the last 10 years, there have been very few silhouettes and models that have excited me like the New Balance 550 has over the last three years. The thing I don't get about sneakers sometimes is how does something like the Jordan 1 or the Jordan 4 always stay timelessly relevant? While and on the flip side, so many other sneakers just fall to the wayside. It's like, unless it's an iconic pair of shoes from Adidas or Nike, a lot of shoes just fall in and out of popularity so dramatically. And I think that's exactly what's happening with the New Balance 550. There are three reasons why I think the New Balance 550 is dying or already did. One, the best pairs were collaborations. Collaborations are definitely a powerful way to boost a product's luster, but they are not the bedrock for longevity, especially when it comes to sneakers. Time and time again, there seems to be a lot of sneakers that become popular as a result of collaborations. And then 12 months after those collaborations have died down, people are less interested those who have their pairs have their pairs. Those who weren't able to get their pairs don't want to pay resale. You see that the shoe just becomes much, much less relevant. The initial Emelion Door 550 collaboration set the bar high for this sneaker. But because they were a limited collab, it created a great imbalance in terms of supply versus demand. Five collaborations later on the same silhouette and some lackluster colorways, and I think supply has officially met demand. Two, I don't think the New Balance 550 is as timeless as a silhouette as you would hope for. Personally, like I said, I love the design of the New Balance 550, but it's essentially a 80s basketball shoe. 
The materials aren't out of this world, but to be honest, that's the case for most sneakers. The colorways that they tried to decorate this silhouette with were really interesting at first, but then became a bit mundane for a lack of better words. And I think most people now would classify the 550 as a relatively simple or basic shoe. There's nothing wrong with being simple or basic. A lot of shoes are simple or basic. And here in the US, I think that if you have a shoe that's simple and basic, but like clean, like the New Balance 550 is, you're still stylistically more inclined than the great majority of people. I wonder if New Balance plans to alter the silhouette. I know they have the 650R, which was a mid top or a high top that was actually a mid top, but only time will tell with that. And it just, it just seems like things are getting a bit quieter when it comes to the 550. No, like does anyone else feel that? Number three and last is the TikTokification of a product. TikTok is one of the biggest culprits in my opinion for why products fall to the wayside so quickly. I remember going on TikTok in 2021 and 2022 and every third or fourth scroll was someone unboxing a new pair of New Balance 550s or just New Balance in general. New Balance was just doing really well for itself and it still is relatively. It just means that everyone and their mother was posting about these shoes, was buying these shoes, was showcasing they had these shoes. And I think that you can currently see that with the Adidas Samba and kind of what Adidas is doing right now on TikTok, at least in my opinion. But what that does is it kind of oversaturates your visual interest with 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 a particular product right you see it so many times that the more you see it every new time you see it like okay i'm ready for something new and that's i mean that's probably just how social media is in general not just tiktok but it's interesting i think the new balance 550 was showcased so much the tiktokification of the shoe happened and people are worn out of seeing it they're tired of seeing it it feels like at times tiktok can just chew things up and spit it out and uh obviously whether or not brands like that or not is i, I don't know like obviously sales for the new balance 550 probably were really high and nothing lasts forever but um yeah it's led me to say that the new balance 550 in 2023 is dead Let's get a word in for today's sponsor, Squarespace. Are you interested in making your very own website for a brand or creative project? Squarespace offers a comprehensive amount of features to make the website that you've always dreamed of. If you want to sell your products direct to consumer or if you just want to display your body of work, Squarespace makes it easy to do that and more. Currently, I'm using my Squarespace website as a hub for all of my content and all of my social media platforms. And if you needed a sign to help nudge you into creating your first website, this is your sign. Visit squarespace.com slash Drew Joiner for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Birkenstock Boston's Mohair New Balance 550. These are 2023's current victims, according to me. What do you think? Am I way off? Do you agree? Regardless, let me know down in the comments. And as always, I'm spreading peace love and positivity in 2023 so that means i'm spreading peace love and positivity to you for me wherever you are in the world have a wonderful rest of your day abianto peace yo what is good post vid vid hopefully you guys had a good day today i changed the angle of the video so like i don't know if you like this more but i kind of changed it up here's a fist bump for the one time bop thank you so much for staying to the end of the video here's two of those things bop um, I have a question for you guys, post vid vid question of the day. Let me know what your answer is by commenting hashtag PVV and then your answer. What are your favorite current trends? Um, for me, I would say that obviously I've been on a huge denim kick. Uh, I've been loving salvage denim and Japanese denim. I don't think it's a real trend. I think it's still a very niche thing, but I have my samurais on right now or not samurais, excuse me, sugar canes. And I'll show you guys real quick. Just hit the I just hit the thing behind me. Those are the jeans for the day. I've been wearing these pretty much every single day. I'm on wear number 19, I believe, today. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite trends are. I'm in love with denim. Um, I can't make videos about denim all the time because it's very niche. Um, but there will be more to come, and uh, I'll show you guys more. And uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying the videos, enjoying the springtime, and getting ready for summer. I hope you guys have a wonderful summer. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.